Um, are, are, you, are you the one that handles the book, the black book that's downstairs? Yeah. Okay, good. Because yeah, I've so been, I mean, I'm sure you've probably seen my videos or heard about it. I did. Or the yeah, questions. So yeah, I, I wanted to reach out. I've been, yeah. I've been trying to get some type of contact information. For they, had, they didn't tell you? I couldn't get any um, well, from... Everybody but, knows who I am here. Yeah. Um, well, I knew your name. I just, I never, I wasn't given any type of contact information. They haven't so. told you the circumstance? Um, I am aware. Yeah. Okay, and so you so know that's, that's exactly yeah. why I wanted to clarify the, well, that with you. I'm here tomorrow. I'm here to speak to her because tomorrow in San Francisco, we're going to the federal building. Uh -huh. The F calling the FBI down, the U.S. Marshals. Mm -hmm. I've informed the the news channels, all the people, for us to meet there, mm -hmm. and we're just going to pop the whole cork on it. And that's why mm -hmm. I wanted to give them an opportunity to see if they want to be there, mm -hmm. or if they have any rebuttal or anything they want to say about what's going down tomorrow, because. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the whole thing go tomorrow. That's okay. that's the only way to to deal with this properly. It's before the Commission for Judicial Performance. Mm -hmm. It's before the Congressman, mm -hmm. the the DOJ, uh, uh, the Attorney General's Office in Washington mm -hmm. D.C. But it's time for the public to get involved because it's just like what's happened here. It's mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah, well, um, as far as for why I came to say say hi, I just wanted to introduce myself. Yeah, so no, that way you. you're you're aware and and kind of clear up some uh, um, misconceptions you, about what the book about was? exactly yeah. about what what that was. Okay. Um, so uh, if you do have any questions or anything comes up, I mean, feel free to let me know. Just know that uh, I'll put it in writing because it's mm -hmm. the best way. That way, you have a receipt sure. of action. I have sure. a receipt of action. Awesome gentleman right here. For those of you who know about the, the whole me being in the black book thing, I didn't know I was in the black book. I showed up and I was informed that I wasn't supposed to be in the building because my picture was in a black book, like a security threat. And I was like, what up? This is where I pay my taxes. I come up here, uh, my water bill, code enforcement. And so I was uh, confused as to why I was in the book or why I was being ostracized yeah. from the so book. So it was, it was um, just to clarify, by the way, it's a misunderstanding yeah. from the, the officer just poorly you know we, we had to and he, it wasn't his fault he, he even um, if you listen to the video he clarified that like I'm not even sure if that's what yeah, it means so you're, you're I, I'm, okay. I'm not sure if you were told but you're you're not they did they read they reiterated they said you're good yeah. but to see your picture in a book like that of course as a taxpayer and, yeah it's and, like I've never so. done nothing violent here and I've always yeah expressed like I shall non-violently peaceful I come to you guys for help man you know what I mean it's murder and kidnapping mm -hmm. and it's serious it's dangerous and so tomorrow everybody's gonna understand why it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much of that you yeah. understand or you know, mm -hmm. but I've been thrown under a bus. Mm -hmm. My first wife's father was murdered. He was kidnapped from his home. Mm -hmm. You know that much? Uh, you know, I've, I've only heard- It's murder and kidnapping. And so It's murder and kidnapping by the most dangerous group. In the, it, it's like, and mm -hmm. so my son was in danger. I came to you guys for help. Mm -hmm. My wife, your guys' employee was taking my son into Tijuana where these people will power, mm -hmm. that's where the AFO runs, her connection to them, her arrest record, it was all tangible. If none of that existed, the guy that I was explaining to Jimena, if that wasn't if that wasn't there, if that wasn't present, I could totally get it. We're like, get this guy out of here, you know what I mean? But there's all that other, I'm, I'm not filming them, I'm filming myself, so. Um, um, I'm always trying to be respectful of other people's rights. So if none of that was a relevant factor, I can totally see where it'd be like, you know, but then I had to go into that courtroom. Do you, do you, do you really know the whole thing that's going on right now? Um, I, I have been given uh, pieces of the story, so okay. only what's relevant to, yeah. to you know. So I guess I might as well just tell them now. I'm a former contractor for the Department of Justice, for the DOD, between 2008 and 2010. The people that murdered my first wife's father, along with other people, I was for the Department of Justice and um, to seek justice on behalf of the victims and the family. That's what's gonna happen tomorrow. And I came here and I asked them to protect my son because my son was being taken down into harm's way and, and nobody did anything. And so I had to go into that courtroom and do what I had to do to protect my son. And now they weaponized it against it. I mean, taking my son away. And so the war shall be fought non-violently, like I said, peacefully. The truth is on my side, and, and tomorrow we just we go full. Mm -hmm. So now they know. Now everybody's gonna know. And thank you. And it was it was nice to meet you. Like Likewise. I said, if, if you have any questions, all the information's public now. now, thanks to to Joseph Solga and Victoria Wood and Gr Gregory Carl Winner and Jessica Marie Lopez. Everything you need to see, it's it's right there. So there you have it, folks.
I was an independent contractor for the DOJ and these people. I asked them to protect my son. I came here, I sat down in this room over here, I explained the relevant information to the relevant people, and I said, you have to protect my child. My child's innocent and all this. I didn't have a child. I've been sent to other countries to protect other people's children, and I asked for them to protect my son, and then they weaponized it against me because I brought up the FBI investigation that's going on here. I never said anything about violence. I never said I was gonna hurt anybody. But they said, oh, he's a veteran. He's like, yeah, well, more than just a veteran. So tomorrow, we're gonna pop that court. So now everybody knows that the danger that they put me in for trying to protect my son, that's all I asked for, was help. Sorry. 